I made three trips to Hong Kong. These pictures were shot in 1999 on the QE2. The arrival of the QE2 was always an exciting event that brought out fireboats in the Hong Kong harbor. The star ferries crossed the harbor connecting Kowloon with Hong Kong Island as they have since 1898. Double-decker trams in the central business district are one of many reminders that this was a British crown colony for 99 years. In 1997, the lease ran out and Hong Kong was returned to the Chinese. There was worry that the Chinese would decimate Hong Kong's freewheeling capitalism. But by the time of the handover, China was blazing its own capitalistic trail. And rather than to stifle Hong Kong's capitalism, they took lessons instead. Both Hong Kong and China prospered as the new century began. But I had been to Hong Kong before on the 1982 World Cruise. During those years, the QE2 put into Hong Kong for five days to paint the ship. And five days later, the QE2 left with a new coat of paint. My first trip to Hong Kong had been as a college student in 1968. Back then, rickshaws were still being used on Nathan Road. The streets were filled with shops selling everything imaginable. Like many men visiting Hong Kong, I had a custom tailored suit made. I chose a fabric, measurements were taken, and five days later, the finished suit was delivered to the QE2 before I sailed. I wandered into this herbalist shop where abacuses were still being used to tally the bill. And next door, boxes were being opened to supply the makings of dinner. Snakes, hundreds of them, offered for sale by a fearless attendant. Today, much of the exotic intrigue is gone, but there are still pockets of old Hong Kong to see, and this snake shop is still in business, offering the ingredients of a winter soup. Aberdeen is the floating city on the south side of Hong Kong Island. Generations of families have lived their entire lives as boat people. When I first came here in 1968, there were no high-rise condos. By the 1980s, skyscrapers had sprung up all around Aberdeen. On the edge of Kowloon was an area known as the New Territories. It was here that I came in 1968 to stand on this platform and gaze out at Red China. It was so mysterious that people came here just to look across the forbidden border. <laughs> 